What is up, football fans? And uh, we heard here that New York Jets have fired Robert Sala as their head coach. A couple of things that I immediately off the bat when I hear about this firing. First of all, um, Aaron Rodgers. Clearly that relationship, I think, with Aaron, uh, with Robert Sala has fallen by the wayside, has fallen apart. You know, you could go back to uh, when, uh, you know, Robert Sala mentioned that Aaron Rodgers went to Egypt when, you know, players were supposedly be in camp. And, you know, that's where he went on a trip to Egypt. Um, you know, just various press conferences. You could tell that relationship has soured, right? So you do a move mid-season, fire a coach, which is a desperation move. And, you know, the Jets, listen, they're all in. They have already, um, are in a win-now mode. So they're going to do everything necessary to try to win. But look, let's think about this here really honestly and thoroughly. I look at a coach and Robert Sala, who basically what it seemed like to be, to me, is a great guy, but a glorified cheerleader uh, slash defensive coordinator with the title of a head coach. Says, you know, you have a guy like Hackett, Aaron Rodgers, boy, okay, this is what you guys do. You do the offense. All right, Hackett, Rodgers, that's what you want. I mean, you're, you're my coach, Aaron Rodgers. Uh, anyway, I'm just Rob Sala. Rob Sala takes care of the defense. Now, the defense, you could argue, is one of the best in the league. Now, may I add, Sauce Gardner, um, guys like this on the defense have, they really kind of like, seems like they have stayed stationary in the last couple of years. Nonetheless, the defense is ranked one of the best in the NFL. However, the offense, not so much. And they average or scored just as many points with Zach Wilson in the first couple of games in the season. Now, mind you, remember Aaron Rodgers coming off of surgery. He's 41 years old. Can't get out of the pocket. Scared to get out of the pocket. Yada, 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 yada. The, the running, running game with Bryce Hall has not been there. So, it's all fine and dandy when you let one uh, when you let Nathan Hackett pretty much worry about the offense and you have no say in it, or you don't input your say in it. As the head coach, if the offense fails, the first head that's going to roll is the head coach. But look, the defense is good. Eh, you should have been in charge of the offense now. And that's what happens. They're not going to touch, dare I make the argument, that you should fire Hackett as the offense coordinator. But we well know that that's not going to happen because Hackett and Aaron Rodgers, they're boys. And again, they're not going to ruffle the, the fetters of the head coach and Aaron Rodgers. Hey, look, it's the price you pay, right? Super Bowl quarterback, MVP quarterback. But he's 41 years old coming off of an injury. But you're in all in and you're in desperate mode. You don't want to ruffle the your star quarterback's feathers. Because you know what? After this year, he could be saying, he could say, deuces, I'm out. Even though he, I think he promised this team three years. Very peculiar, very, very interesting situation in New York with the Jets. Rob Sala it seemed like every just seemed like a great guy. I remember him with that fire and that uh, like steam coming out of the ears when he was with the 49ers as a defensive coach. I'm sure he'll find job elsewhere. But just not the just not, you know, wasn't ready for the head coaching experience. It kind of reminds you of when Rex Ryan, who was all about the defense, defensive coordinator. And uh, morning wig uh, with the Jets a few years back. Look, you got to be involved uh, with all aspects of the team if you're a head coach, if, you know, or else it's your head that's going to roll. 
I hope all is well.